Oh my God, what are you guys doing? Are you kidding me? Just stop pissing me off. Hey guys, what's going on? Kevin the Movie Dealer here. I wanted to do this video after the announcement that Ben Affleck is not directing the Batman movie. So what I thought, I want to make a video of how Warner Brothers is just effing up the DC comic book universe. The movies, of course. The DC extended universe is what they're calling it. What the hell? Honestly, what are you guys doing? And Warner Brothers is such a good, great studio. Let's just start off with what problems they have done. I'm not talking about like the movies in general. Like that's something I kind of blame the studio and the director for at the moment. But these type of things I completely blame the studio for. And they just need to get their, sh their act together. Let's start with Batman v Superman, what they did there. Chris Terrell and Zack Snyder, the director and the writer, they, they made this script that was pretty damn long. I, if you watch the Ultimate Cut, you can tell the movie was supposed to be long as hell. And Warner Brothers was like, yeah, go for it, go for it, make this movie. They made it, Warner Brothers loved it, but then they realized it's three hours long, and they were like, you gotta cut 30 minutes of it, after they were done. And Zach's like, I, that's just, how? And he had to cut out so much of that film because the studio was so scared that people would not go see this movie because of the length. But it really didn't matter. That wouldn't have mattered. This was the, the most anticipated film of 2016. It wouldn't have mattered if people still would have gone see this movie. And you know what? If they released the ultimate cut, mmm, movie would have been praised a lot more and the movie would have made over a billion dollars. But because of Warner Brothers' dumb mistake, it's, it only made 800 mil or something like that. Over 800 mil. <sighs> Granted, I completely understand why they wanted to, like, they didn't want to make three hours, but that movie should not have been two and a half hours. It should have been like two hours and 45 minutes. Now, Suicide Squad, simple, of what they did wrong. One, they chose to go in such a generic and unoriginal direction with it. And two, they only gave David Ayer four weeks to write the script. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No wonder why it wasn't, the story sucked. <laughs> Like what? And then all this news started coming out, all these different types of stories. Flash has lost two directors and I believe three writers and they're doing rewrites with that movie. What the hell? And now this whole Batman thing, which by the way, I do not blame Ben Affleck for his decision. I don't. That's a lot of pressure on his hands, being a director, the main actor, the writer, and a producer. Granted, he's done that before, but never to this scale. The scale of this movie was huge, and he knew that. Because when he pro was promoting Live By Night, every single damn journalist just kept asking him about Batman, um, the Batman movie. Leave him alone, all right? Let him do it. Let him do it. The love of Christ, just leave him be. Unbelievable. And so he felt the pressure, and so he decided not to direct. It could have been worse. He could have just left the DC, period. But then... Warner Brothers is just started announcing these random movies just out of nowhere. Like the Gotham Sirens. What? And then a Black Adam movie. It was like giving Lex Luthor his own movie or like a Bane getting his own movie. Black Adam's a villain. The only reason why they're giving that character a movie is because Dwayne The Rock Johnson's playing him. Unbelievable. It's just... There's no game plan here with the DCU. There's no game plan whatsoever. Their first mistake was announcing back in like, I believe it was like 2014 when they announced like just all those DC films, all of them. Like that was their biggest mistake. They kind of shot themselves in the foot there. It did show confidence. I'll give them that, but still. But now they're just throwing in these random films just for the heck of it. Like honestly, it's like there's really no game plan here. So how can they fix it? Do what Marvel does. Show that it's like all one big story. And they kind of do that. I will admit, Warner Brothers kind of did that with the DCU with 
Man of Steel, Batman and Superman, Justice League. It really is all one story. But I think all the stories have some form of connection. Don't just be throwing random movies in there. Have a game plan. Now, yes, you should do... The Warner Brothers should be different than Marvel. Without a doubt, yes. But be as professional as Marvel is and show just like what, what Marvel has, a game plan. Like there is a purpose. Like you're going somewhere with the DC. You're going somewhere. Not just giving us random movies just for the hell of it. Come on, guys. Warner Brothers is an amazing studio, and they are treating the DC characters very poorly. They got to get their act together. So I just wanted to get this rant over with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Tell me what you thought. Catch you guys later. This is Kevin the Movie Dealer. Have a nice day.